On this video, we're going to take you to one of the most beautiful mining towns in Colorado, mm -hmm. Telluride. It is, you're going to love it. And then we're going to show you the little town of Dolores and the Canyon of the Ancients, and we're going to throw in a few surprises. Hey folks, it's so good to see you again. We have another beautiful day here in southwestern Colorado. We are the Redhead and the Preacher, and we are full-time RVers from Dallas, Texas. And I just want to encourage you to subscribe so you'll be notified of all of our future videos. Linda's got something great planned for you. Come on, let's get started. We are staying in Cortez, Colorado. We decided to take a day trip to tell you right. It's Highway 145 right out of Cortez, and it's only 76 miles. Along the way, we enjoyed the beautiful scenery, especially Lizard Head Peak. You know, part of seeing Telluride was the drive getting there. We saw these incredible scenes. If you wanted to, you could hike up closer to Lizard Peak. Trails came right out of the parking lot. The scenery just kept to amaze us, and we just kept snapping pictures all the way to Telluride. Just outside of Telluride, we saw this beautiful herd of elk, over a hundred of them, and we wanted you to see them. Telluride is one of the most beautiful towns in Colorado. It's situated at the base of the beautiful snow-capped peaks that are 13 to 14,000 feet in a box canyon. All of this city is uh, very Victorian. All of the homes, uh, it's just like a step back in time. Of course, uh, it was originally from all the mining era that began there, and now everything is winter sports and skiing and tourist. We decided to go on the free gondola ride up the mountain. Uh, it was a long ride, uh, beautiful views from the top of the mountain that were just amazing. Uh, I was astounded at these pictures that I took, that I took them actually, that they were so beautiful. You can get off at the top of the mountain and go to a really nice restaurant if you would like, or stay on the gondola like we did and go down the other side of the mountain to the ski resort and see that. Uh, it was a really nice ride and we really enjoyed ourselves. Back in Telluride, we visited the Historic Museum. It was in a building that was built in 1896 and was originally a hospital. The artifacts were great and we learned about Butch Cassidy and his first crime. This is where he robbed the bank. The artifacts were great and we were able to see what it looked like many years ago and we weren't surprised to find out the importance of bordellos during the gold boom. Just outside of the museum, you could uh, see the mines and how they used to look and work. And if you wanted to spend the time, you could do a little panning for gold, which these four young ladies were doing, and they were having a great time. After the museum, we found a perfect place for a picnic. We love picnics. Looking over our shoulder the other way, this is the view that we had while we enjoyed lunch. We decided to drive up to Bridal Veil Falls, something that most people do when they come to Telluride. Uh, mining all along the road and you can see the road here was so bumpy and uh, it was really difficult so we didn't go all the way up to the falls like we could have but we got some uh, good pictures and and some good views uh, the town of Telluride has lots of shopping and restaurants and things available for you so if you're in the area and you're close to Telluride this is a must Another great trip that we took, which was very near our RV park in Cortez, was to the Anasazi Heritage Center and the Canyon of the Ancients National Monument. It's 170,000 acres of high desert. Just outside the museum reminds you of the desert with the beautiful blooming cactus. The museum there is wonderful to see. Here is a replica of a Puebloan pit house. Other exhibits are fantastic. Just outside the museum, is a concrete path that you can take a one mile uh, round trip hike up to see beautiful views like this of the San Juan Mountains and the Dolores River below. And at the top is uh, two 12th century Puebloan ruins. It, this is a must see in this area. After visiting Canyon of the Ancients, you may want to stop in the nearby town of Dolores Enjoy some excellent Mexican food at Montezuma's, and just across the street is the Railway Museum, which is free. 
Notadena in Cortez, Colorado is more than a souvenir store. It is filled with beautiful Indian artifacts, but there is one problem with this store. There is such a selection, it is really difficult to make up your mind. They have Indian pottery from $15 to $7,500. This is the choice that I made for these beautiful earrings and pottery. And there is a free museum downstairs. I hope you've enjoyed our video of the places that we've taken you around to. We sure did. And I hope you come back and visit us again. Hey, it's so good to be with you again. Thanks for going with us on this wonderful trip in this beautiful part of our country. We just remind you to be sure and subscribe so you'll be notified of all of our latest videos. Again, thanks for coming along. God bless you all and remember, may God bless America.